Hey YouTube, long time no see. So today, I'm going to be taking a look at a piece of mail I just got over Christmas. It's delivered by UPS, which is pretty much the only part of the bag I can show you, because the rest has my address and stuff on it, so yeah. Uh, also, my camera is far too zoomed in, but we'll get to that. So this piece of mail is interesting. From It's from a little company called Sega. Yeah. I got mail from Sega. So, I don't know if you guys know, but uh, anybody who follows me on Twitter will see that a little while ago, I actually took part in an art contest for the Sega Heroes uh, mobile game. Uh, and I actually won a prize. Yeah. And this is what showed up. There were three prizes up for grabs, and each one included uh, a set of the Sega Heroes pins. And I am all about collecting shiny things, so I may have gone totally overboard with my entry for the contest. Uh, it was only supposed to really be a piece of fan art for Choo Choo Rocket and, you know, because it just got introduced into Sega Heroes, so it was Sega Heroes characters and Choo Choo Rocket stuff. Uh, and I kind of decided to draw maybe nearly everybody I could. Uh, I was on a deadline, so I only had like two or three days to do it, but I actually managed to win a prize. Go me. And here it is. A uh, little piece of metal wire from Japan. Yep, that is that. That's my prize. That's it. I win. Good, huh? Uh, no. Uh, so presumably that is the. Uh, oh no! Take hey, second thing is actually a T-shirt. This is not what I. I there was a T-shirt up for grabs. Uh, there was no sizing given. Uh, one of the numbskull shirts. These things are really cool. Actually, they're made out of kind of nice material. Um, yeah, it's an XL. And uh, anybody who knows me. Well, no, I am. I am not XL sized. I am. I'm more of a. I probably could fit in a small T-shirt, maybe a medium, uh, quite comfortably. Uh, but it's Dreamcast, and Dreamcast is cool. So yeah, uh, if I don't wear it, I'll find it a good home. I know a couple guys that are big Dreamcast fans that would probably fit into that a lot better than I would. And look, a piece of mail from Sega. Again, the only part I can show you guys because uh, the rest has my address on it. Um, so, here is the cool part, uh, not the invoice, but there it is, uh, the 17th of December, just before Christmas, uh, addressed to me from Sega, isn't that cool? And here is the letter itself, uh, all the way from Sega of Europe, yeah, that's right, even though uh, I'm in Canada, they let me enter the contest, so it's pretty, uh, rare that we get to do some cool international stuff like this. A lot of the time, it's kind of US only or Europe only, so. This was super cool. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, Dear Rick, thank you for your Sega Heroes X Choo Choo Rocket Fan Art Competition entry. The Demiurge and Sega team really appreciated your entry, which has received first place in this competition. Please find your prizes alongside this letter. Ho ho ho, we look forward to any work you submit in the future. Thanks for being such a passionate fan. Many thanks and all the best. Danny Russell, the community manager. Hi Danny, if you see this, very much appreciated. Thank you, uh, I mean, for picking me. Thank you for the prizes. Thank you for the cool stuff. Um, and, you know, the chance to take part internationally. That's pretty rad. Uh, and here we go. This, okay... Everything else, everything in this prize pack is cool, but this this was the reason I entered. I'm gonna put that aside for a second just because uh, I'm gonna save that for last because personally that's the thing that got me super hype. Um, I kind of forgot what else was in here, but oh yeah, uh, this is a uh, a lanyard that this was a last minute throw in. Uh, well, not a throw in, but there, this was an extra prize added to the first prize pool after the original contest was announced. I didn't realize this was gonna be. A thing until afterwards until I'd already like submitted my entry I was that last minute uh, this is a choo-choo rocket universe lanyard apparently these were uh, either staff only or developer only I think um, but look how cool that is I uh, never really thought of myself as the kind of person who would have a lanyard collection but uh you know Nintendo's gave me a bunch I've picked up a couple of cool ones here and there and this is most definitely probably the coolest one I've gotten so far so that is uh, very much appreciated Nope, nope, put that back. Uh, if I have a table at a convention, I will probably use the Choo Choo Rocket one. I think that's super cool. Uh, and here is the grand prize. This is the actual, uh, this is the developer artwork for the Choo Choo Rocket characters signed by all the staff. How cool is this? 
Uh, top right, by the way, that is my favorite signature. I don't know who that is, but yeah. Uh, I mean, there are a lot of cool signatures on here. I actually really like looking at people's autographs. You can, I'm, I'm no handwriting expert, but I think, you know, you can tell a lot by people's handwriting and some of these are really cool. Um, but that top right one, yeah. Oh, hey, uh, hmm. uh, this looks like it has uh, four pins in it, which are attached that you probably thread the uh, metal wire through. Uh, I guess it came loose. Uh, let me take a look in the bag and yep. There you go. These two little, uh, oh, so it just screws in. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, so it's not broken. It's just, uh, I guess, unscrewed itself in transport. So whoop. let me just uh, reattach this real quick. And there we go. Now I can pull out my metal wire and I can find a place to hang it. I got to actually pick somewhere and put up some nails first. I uh, just moved house and I have yet to put up any pictures. That will be, uh, if, if I'm super cool, that will be a whole video in of itself. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. They're a little loose, but I think you can screw them in and tighten them manually. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. Okay, yeah. And then the top, oh, the top right one's a little loose as well. That's gonna drive me nuts. Um, I know it's probably not gonna be an issue until I actually need to put this thing up on the wall, but uh, it's better safe than sorry. Just. There we go. Solid. Yeah, stop messing with that until I break it. And there we go. And then the box. Now this is the thing that uh, I see these around. I, I know a couple of people who've gotten sent packs, and these are super cool. I know a lot of people. Uh, Diecast pins now are becoming a little bit of a fad, and some people don't like them. But I think they're absolutely fantastic. And the reason why these are super cool, especially is these are the first time some of these characters are actually getting physical merchandise in the longest time. Uh, so there's my boy Ryo, Shenmue were one of the first Dreamcast games I absolutely fell for. I had one and two on the Dreamcast on PAL, so I got to carry my save across. Alicia from Valkyria Chronicles, I love the first game, haven't had a chance to play 4, I know she's DLC in it, uh, I need to get around to that. Uh, Ebitan, I do not want to think about the amount of money I've spent in House of the Dead arcade machines, and Alice! Like I said, some of these characters have not had merchandise in the longest time, and I love the original Fantasy Star. Um, yeah, and speaking of games I'm a, I absolutely adore, it's BD Joe. Yeah, um, a little bit of a shame. I, I, you can't talk about Crazy Taxi without mentioning the soundtrack changes, but since I still have the original on Dreamcast, I go back to that quite a lot. Um, I absolutely love that game. It's so good for short bursts. I haven't had a chance to play the phone game. I know there's uh, a mobile game. Uh, an Altered Beast. The Werewolf, uh, one of the first games I ever played way back in the uh, the European, well, British Mega Drive came pre-packed with Altered Beast Soft and that uh, most of us, that's our first Mega Drive game. But look at this guy, this is adorable, this is uh, kind of cutesy, like uh, it, it's hard to get a lot of detail into pins when they're this size. And you know, like the manufacturing process often leads to a lot of like little imperfections and little impurities and stuff like that. Um, I've seen some people say that there was hidden stuff underneath the boxes. Uh, not one for mine, but I think that's probably where the the two pins usually sit in everybody else's packs. Uh, sometimes they get like a Sega logo, that kind of thing, but I can overcrowd my battlefield and put everybody in at once. And this looks kind of crazy. Uh, you can only have like four characters on the screen at once versus the four you're fighting, so you would never see a lineup of six teams, uh, six uh, heroes on one team. But you know, it's a. Uh, I don't want to punch holes in the box and, and add them in, so I'm gonna kind of have to keep these guys loose for now. Uh, you can see how they've been put in the little plastic bags, which has prevented any scratching. There's a little dent in the box, but I'm gonna keep them in the bags for now until I can find a, a good way to uh, display them. I have not picked up like a cork board to put a pin collection in, mostly because I don't know how to handle all the backs, and I don't want to lose them all and have a big jumbled bag of backs, but look at that box. Oh, that is so nice. I love this. Like, I, I've seen these about, and I've seen a couple people post, like, earlier hauls, because I know they, they were handouts at some point way earlier on, but this is the first time I've got to see them and got to own them in person, so I am... Very excited about those. I think they're super cool. And like I said, that was the whole reason I uh, went in for the contest. And yes, 
Morbid curiosity. I gotta see how big the XL is. I mean, <laughs> there's, there's no way I'm, uh, yeah, let's take a look. 45 by 47? No, that is, that is not, um, I only know my size recently because, uh, Nintendo sent out jackets and I had to get mine resized or swapped for a smaller one because the difference between American and European and Japanese and North American size is like, everybody is crazy. Like, it's so hard to buy stuff online now that actually fits. Um, but look at that. See, that's a cool design. I like it. Usually, like, a lot of, whenever T-shirts do that kind of box art right in the middle of the shirt kind of thing, and it's clearly just a cube or a, a rectangle printed in the middle of a shirt, it doesn't look too good. But I like the way this has the double outline and the grid, which is, you know, a bit Mega Drive-y. Not so dreamcast -y as far as I'm aware, but it's Dreamcast, and it has the VMU front and center. So that's super cool. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, guys. I don't want to keep yammering on and uh, dragging the video out. Uh, I'll probably end up posting a tweet of just, you know, the still image of everything that came in the box for people who don't have the attention span to sit through a video, but if you did, you are cool. Uh, and that's everything. How cool that is, man. Like, that's, you know, production artwork. Signed by all the staff, that's, you know... That is pretty damn rad. Uh, so I'll see you guys later. Thanks for checking out the video and seeing all the stuff in, you know, let me know if you'd like to see more videos, less videos, uh, anything specific, you know, uh, whatever. I'm not very good at YouTube. I don't know if you've noticed. Don't tell anyone. Oh yeah, there was one more thing. Uh, I was looking in the letter and I found this. Conqueror. Anybody know what it means?